Inventor allows you to prepare drawings of the created parts and assemblies. Let's create the drawing of a bracket assembly. Create the drawing file. You should now see the available options to create a drawing. Next, you should check whether you have the ESKD support enabled. On the Environments tab, open the Add-ins Manager and find the items ESKD support. If the following items are not checked, loaded slash unloaded, and load automatically, you need to check them. Now, let's set up a sheet format. On the Annotate tab, go to Sheet Format. Here, you can specify the format of your sheet, orientation, zones, and choose the type of main annotation and additional extensions. Select the A3 format, Landscape, Uncheck Show Zones, as the title block leave Form 1 and leave all the extensions checked. Now, we will place the drawing of our assembly on the sheet. On the tab Place Views, select Base. In the resulting window, specify the path to the desired assembly. If the assembly was opened earlier, the file path is determined automatically. Leave representation unchanged and orientation as front. If needed, you can choose another orientation. In the Style field, you can choose whether to display hidden lines or shaded parts. When moving the cursor to the Drawing field, you will see a preview and that the scale has changed. Set the position of the view of the drawing. Click the left mouse button. After placing the base view, you are able to place the projection view. Select the position of this view. To place one more projected view, select the feature Projected. Specify the base view and select the place and where to put the view from the top. You can also create an isometric view. To place a detail view, use the designated function Detail. Select the base view and in the resulting window specify the scale, style, fence shape, and cutout shape. On the base view, select the area where to place the detail, the size of the circle, and then the place to locate the detail view. To create an extension line for the view letter, right click on it and check Extension. On the Annotate tab, select Title Block. Here, you can complete the title block of your drawing. If you are making a drawing of a part, you can select the materials from the library or add your own material. The mass of the assembly is added automatically, but you can edit it manually. The dimensions of the drawing are applied the same way as on the sketch. To apply a dimension, you just need to press on the line itself or on its ends. In the resulting window, you can edit the dimension or uncheck Edit Dimension when created. You can also input dimensions between the parallel lines.
to put in an angle, you need to sequentially put on the desired lines. To apply the dimension from the line to the center of the circle, just move the cursor to the center of the circle. Set the dimension between the circles. To put in a diameter, select the desired circle, specify radius. In the context menu, you may select a dimension type, diameter or radius. Specify the other dimensions of the groove. Also, you can define whether to put a center line between the two parallel lines. Let us specify the welding joint on the assembly. Select a line. In the welding menu, there are GOSTs to denote welding joints and also the types of welding joints. You can input a custom standard. Next, select the weld leg and click OK. On the Format panel, click Technical Requirement. In the resulting window, you can input the desired technical requirements or select items from a standard section. On the Table panel, press the Balloon option. Set the position of the part. Initially, the position is applied with an arrow. If you want it to change to a dot, drag the arrow to the side. On the same panel, select Part List. In the window that opens, you should see the parts list, which can be added to the field of your drawing. A part list contains the name of the part. That is why it's better to later specify a part number instead of its description, and enter all other data in the properties of the part. To prepare specifications based on ESKD, press Preview and the part list is opened in MS Excel. Later, you can save and print it. Place the part list on our drawing. Save the drawing.